Hey, everybody. Texas Catman here. <clears throat> what we're going to do today is we're going to make a winter shelter for a cat using some scrap wood, a little bit of leftover insulation, and a couple of cardboard boxes with a little bit of flex seal for waterproofing. Um, what you'll need is some duct tape just to strengthen the boxes a little bit and uh, some type of insulation. It could be old plastic bags. It could be the packing that they send you. Uh, even bubble wrap, it works, works good as insulation. Um, it could be old clothes, an old blanket, whatever it is. The idea is, is that we're going to take one box and put it inside the other box, which will leave a gap in between in certain areas that we could stuff and like in here with uh, something to insulate it. Um, obviously cardboard is not waterproof and that's where the flex seal comes in. Our first step is going to be um, to just strengthen the bottom. As you can see, this tape has broken here. So we're gonna just put a couple pieces of duct tape on there. And uh, then we're going to flex seal the bottom while we work on the rest. So um, <clears throat> this piece of wood is going to go inside here like this to just add some weight so the wind doesn't blow it around. So, um, the light is not the best there, so let me just bring it over here. So add add some some type of weight to the bottom of the uh, bottom of the first box. Set the next box in top. Put some insulation, seal it all, and then spray it with Flex Seal. Obviously, we're gonna cut some holes in the side so that the cat can get in and out. All right. Well, that's the overview. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is tape the bottom of the box and spray it with let, with uh, Flex Seal to I'll let it dry so that way we can work on the rest of it. All right, be back in a minute. Okay, so as you can see, uh, I'm almost done with the flex seal on the bottom. I've got a piece of tape on the edge, piece of tape on the middle, another piece of tape on the edge, and I've got a piece of tape right down here where the seam of the box is uh, because that's where it always breaks. And I've got three pieces down the middle vertically here. So, um, I'm gonna finish flex sealing probably halfway up the box and then put it outside uh, to dry and get on cutting the insulation uh, pieces. Um, okay, be back in a few minutes. Hey, welcome back everyone. Okay, so here's where we're at. The bottom is sealed with flex seal. I've cut two holes in the boxes and as you can see, this is the inside box got two holes in the outside box you got two holes the reason we do that is because cats really don't like to be trapped in one spot and be cornered they like to have an escape route so the first hole is going to stay open and the second hole we're going to use we're going to tape a little towel here um, that kind of hangs over half of it so that they could see that they could get out something like this not exactly sure, but to block most of the air. And we'll we'll just secure it inside the flap of the box with tape or, or whatever. So um, something like that, just to just to kind of block the wind, but they know that they can still get out. Um, so I'm about to uh, put the wood in, uh, put the insulation around it, and get ready to um, uh, seal it all up and then flex seal it. All right, um, let's try this out. So I've put down some plastic bags from Solar Salt just on the bottom, just to add another layer of not only insulation, but uh, just water protection. Um, and the only insulation that's gonna be on the bottom, unfortunately, is that wood, but of course we'll put a blanket inside for the cat um, to lay on, so that'll, that'll help. Maybe even a heating pad. Okay, so I wanted to show you what this looks like so far. Um, as you can see, let me zoom in a little bit. 
I have held the box in place with multiple pieces of insulation. I have some of this old packing bubbles and some just packing paper in this one corner. And this box isn't moving, so that way the uh, where the holes line up, it's, it's not really separated. It's not a perfect lineup, but the cat will get out of that. They're pretty small, especially the cat that I'm thinking about. She's, she's really quite small. Um, so I might need to just trim that out a little bit uh, at the bottom there. As you can see, it looks like um, I didn't account for the, um, the board underneath when I measured. So um, not a big deal. Just get a little razor knife and trim out a little bit more until the openings are basically evening even. So uh, right now my next step is to just um, tape up the top of the box so it doesn't sink in. Um, and then I'm going to use those extra salt bags that I have to put on the top here. And then I'm going to seal it all up and then I'm going to flex seal it. So I'm going to use the salt bags, seal this up, um, and then um, see how that works. So um, one thing we want to be aware of is we don't want the flaps falling in on the cat. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to tape these in here so that they don't fall in. Uh, tape them right in here. Um, probably a piece of tape right on the top that would go... Uh, from here to here and I'll show you that in the next video all right okay so there we are I have the flaps taped up so that they don't fall in um, I think that's that's good enough I don't think the cat's gonna be pulling on the top of the top of the box and so now I'm gonna seal everything seal everything else up and uh, this box is a little tall for the outside box which is why I got the uh, solar salt bags I want to make sure that there's uh, no issue of um, anything leaking in, and I'll just use tape to seal the the difference. So, all right, I'll show you the end product before I spray coat it uh, with the uh, Flex Seal. All right, so here we are. Zoom in. I had to use a little bit more tape than I had planned because the one box that's going on the inside, it was a little bit taller than the box on the outside. I didn't think it would be as big as an issue as it is, but it was, but you know, duct tape is relatively cheap. So I used, it was a brand new roll. I used maybe half a roll and that's only for this. And that's going to make it a little bit more waterproof anyway. So, um, uh, so now we're ready for spray coating. The only thing I will urge you is to run your hand along all the duct tape Make sure it's sealed really good. Um, so that way it's not gonna peel up when we have the, the flex seal on it. So I'll flex seal half of it to show. And then um, I'll probably first I'll cut out that, that little area there before I flex seal. And I'll try not to get a lot of flex seal on the inside of the box so it doesn't smell. All right, oh, we're almost done. Um, I had to wait for the flex seal to dry. That was the longest thing, the, the one on the bottom. So that was about 30 minutes. Um, you could probably get this done in about an hour, an hour and a half uh, with most of the uh, time being in, in drying time by the flex seal. So, all right, uh, be back with the final version. Okay, and here we are. I just want to add Flex Seal is paintable. So if you don't like the black, you can paint it any color after it dries. I used one can of Flex Seal. Um, it's pretty good coverage, I would say. I, I concentrated uh, on the top because, uh, and uh, this side right here, because this side is the one that's going to be facing out. This is going to be on a porch. I'm not going to put it out in the rain. This is going to be on a, on a porch. And so this side will be facing out where it might get wet the most. Uh, this will be against the wall, this side here. And so will this side. This side will be open. Of course, this side is going to be totally against the wall so that the cat can get out. But this one is going to be facing the house. And then this side, this is where the cat would generally go in and out, I hope. Anyway, 
Um, it is a little smelly, so I'm, I'm probably going to have to air it out for a little while. As far as, um, I think when this dries, it, it, it's not as smelly. Um, I got a little bit in there, but that's not going to matter um, all that much when it, um, um, when it dries. Um, as you can see, it's actually pretty roomy in, roomy in there. Probably fit two cats um, if they're friendly and they want to be in there together. Um, and it'll definitely keep the weather off of them, the wind, um, and keep them warm, uh, warmer in the winter. So, uh, total cost, I, I forget what the, the, the board insulation costs. I'm thinking maybe $20 a sheet that it's a four by eight sheet. Um, I had it left over from doing another project. So, um, you know, I was just going to throw it away. Um, and so, you know, it's a good use. Um, the cardboard boxes, obviously, they just ship. Amazon just ships me stuff in them, so they were free. The duct tape, uh, about six dollars, and I think the, uh, um, I think the um, uh, flex seal is about twelve dollars. So, eighteen dollars, um, plus maybe uh, another six or seven dollars worth of. Uh, insulation material but again you don't have to use the the board insulation I had it so I did use it but you know you could stuff um, books uh, if you have some old books um, that you don't want books would work fine too it's it's like insulation so um, that would be uh, something that you could use old books um, you could use old clothes uh, you could use a, a you know old blankets old towels uh, plastic bags from Walmart they would work just fine stuffed in there. Um, so, you know, there's a, that, that, would, that would obviously reduce the cost. So for about $20, you can have a waterproof, uh, waterproof warm shelter for your outdoor cats. Uh, these are outdoor cats, feral cats that we have on our property. Um, so that's what we're going to use this for. Um, all right, well, I hope this helps somebody, uh, give somebody an idea, um, and uh, drop a line if it, if it does. Thanks for watching.